Alright, Sawyer Knights, it's Sawyer189 here with my review for the Punisher 223, which is a really good issue. It's basically the end of this storyline we've been in for the last, ever since they started this whole thing with War Machine. He's been in a foreign country fighting off this evil dictator, and this is the end of that storyline. It's very, very good. Uh, I will be giving pretty much a full spoiler of the, of the issue, mostly, because there's really not a whole lot in this issue that is that is worthy of being like a, a well guarded secret you know like it ends pretty much the way you would expect it to end there's not really any big cliffhangers or anything it's still a really good story though but i just want to put that out there that i will be pretty much reviewing the whole story because there's not a whole lot to it you know it's mostly just punisher killing people which is what we read punisher for at least i feel like that's what most people read punisher for so Basically, this issue begins where we left off with the uh, nuclear warhead being shot over to America, going to blow everybody up. So Frank has to follow it and basically stop it. There's a pretty cool scene where he basically has to, he tells the AI to drop all the extra weapons, to drop all the extra padding of the armor so he can get enough speed to actually catch it. Uh, and he stops it. And there's this really cool fight sequence where he's basically using, you know, he has no weapons left, so he has to use the only weapon left he has, which is the nuclear warhead itself. He's basically, you know, threatening to, to shoot it with his, to punch it or whatever and blow everybody up. So he has this cool little fight with the two other uh, soldiers that are wearing, they're also wearing Iron Man armor. And Nick Fury's trying to tell him, you know, hey, Frank, you need to, um, we need to calm down. And Frank doesn't want to calm down. So, and, you know, and Fury doesn't want the, the warhead to go off. So he uses an electrical magnetic pulse he's had installed the entire time, just in case Punisher got, went too far, and uh, it turns off all three of their armors. But instead, that just gives Punisher the chance to actually fight on even grounds against these guys, against these assassins. And it's really cool because you know they're like, "Oh, his armor's off too," and Frank just looks at him like, "Does that does that make me less or more dangerous?" <laughs> I love that line. I was like, because. That was what I really enjoyed about this issue, is that most of, Frank's actually out of the armor most of the issue. And we haven't really seen Frank out of the armor since, mm -hmm. I think, 218 or 219. It's been a few issues that we've since we've actually seen Frank, you know, fight out of the armor for this much of the issue. So it was fun. I almost kind of forgot how the how the artist draws Frank, you know, and how how cool it actually is to see Frank fight in this book. He has a very uh, John Brifthal look to him, you know, like that's, that's a very inspired look from the TV show. But it's uh it's really a good fight. Uh, there's a lot of really good fight in this issue. He takes down those agents with ease, and then he basically goes after the the dictator himself. But he's surprised to find out that the dictator has his own suit of armor that um that he you know he's been using. And so Frank has to fight a guy in a suit of armor with him by himself. But it works out pretty well. Frank basically, you know, Frank Frank knows what kind of suit it is, and he he went and studied his suit enough to know where the weak points were. So he basically takes his knife and runs around and just like slashes all the little weak points where the armor doesn't protect, like in the wrist or in the, like underneath the uh, the leg or whatever, and basically just keeps cutting the guy until the guy starts bleeding out. He starts like losing kind of focus. Well, then you know the bad guy he's he decides to grab Punisher and fly him into space or try to fly him in the atmosphere, you know, kill Frank that way, and they have this really cool sequence where Frank you know basically rips out. He rips off, he cuts off the guy's hand and takes like one of his, one of, the, one of his repulsor blasters or whatever. And he basically kills the guy in midair. And then as Frank is falling to his death, he puts on the repulsor. He takes out the hand and puts on the, puts on the repulsor and, and hot, like wires it or whatever so that he can use it. And then shoots him, shoots an energy beam that allows him to basically slow his descent so he doesn't die. It's a really cool sequence. Mm -hmm. You see part of it here. The art's actually really good in that sequence. It, it, it it's very adrenaline pumping, very uh, intense. So I really enjoyed that. Um, so like I said, overall I really enjoyed this issue. I've been enjoying this storyline since they began it, and this was a good way to end it. You know, it was I, I thought it was really good to end it with Frank being Frank and not in the armor. You know, showing that he's still a very dangerous person without the armor. That he can still get things done without the armor. I like that. I thought it was really good they did that. So the issue basically ends with uh, Carl Danvers basically asking Frank, I mean not Frank, uh, Fury, where where Frank is, and Nick Fury's like I don't know, and you know it's like he's basically putting all this deniability where he had nothing to do with it, and he and he's like, but I'm sure Frank will turn up some somewhere along the way, and then we see that <laughs> there's a bunch of mobsters over back in the states, I think it's Brooklyn actually, they're um, 
Oh no, it's the Bronx. My bad. They're out here like doing a, a you know, a, a, they're talking, you know, messing around, having a card game, and all of a sudden Frank just busts in and just obliterates them. And it was a, it was a really fun last panel. I thought it was really fun. And it's basically setting up the next storyline, which is basically going to be Frank's back in the home turf with his armor. You know, he's done with this mission now, and now he gets the, now he has the armor to keep as a you know, kind of as a reward, I guess, or you know, as a or as an aftermath of the of the battle. And now he's just going to go around taking out normal criminals with his armor. I'm actually kind of excited to see that, you know, because um, I mean, what's more dangerous than than Punisher? Punisher with a battle armor, you know. So yes. Uh, I really enjoyed this issue. I keep saying that, but I did. I, this is a really fun series, and just because he's wearing the armor, it doesn't really it doesn't really dumb down this the character. He's still the same character. He's still clever. He's still like, uh, you know, resourceful. Yeah, and I just you know, I'm enjoying this series. I'm enjoying this way more than I ever thought I was because when I first heard about the armor storyline, you know, him becoming a war machine, I was like, I was like, uh, it kind of makes sense, but I don't know how it's gonna play out. I don't really know if I want him to stay that way very long. And I still don't really think they're going to keep it very long. And, you know, maybe maybe like 10 more issues or so. I don't know. We'll see. But I am enjoying the I am enjoying the ride while it's here. It's been a fun ride. So as like like comment subscribe as always. Let me know in the comments if you guys prefer, you know, the story these stories with Frank in the armor or do you like Frank, you know, without the armor? Let me know and see you guys later.